Today I'm going to review the Bowers & Wilkins Nautilus 800 Diamond. Admittedly, I have always been a big fan of Bowers & Wilkins 800 series speakers. It all started with the 802N in 2000, then I made the upgrade to the 800N. In 2005, I really started to like the 802D1 series, then the 800D1, and then a speaker I deeply love, the 801Ds. Around 2015, I had the chance to listen to the 803D2 series, the Diamond series, and I really like them. But today, we have the former flagship model, the 800 Diamond, which came out in 2010. If you are like me, and you like this high-end audio stuff, please check out my website, audioscholars.com, or contact me on YouTube. If you would like me to review your stuff, your audio equipment, please also contact me. This review is quite simple. It's like all my reviews. First, I'm going to give them a sight score. Then I will give them a sound score. And then I'm going to give them an overall audio score, my personal audio score. The audio scholars sight and sound score. Let's go. As you know, the first category under sight is convenience and the 800 diamonds receive a 6 out of 10. Here's why. In Germany, you get a 10 year warranty on the $24,000 speakers. Overall, the packaging of the 800 diamonds is best in class. I have never seen a manufacturer do a better job in packaging their speakers than Bowers & Wilkins. But they also have to, because the diamond tweeter is so sensitive. I have broken three diamond tweeters over the last 10 years. If you would like to move the 800 diamonds, you can, because there are wheels underneath the base. However, be careful with your flooring. Overall, a 6 out of 10 for convenience for a speaker that weighs 225 pounds. The next category is looks and styling. And in my opinion, the 800 diamonds are simply beautiful. They are just an eye catcher in every room. Especially with the black piano finish they have introduced with the diamond series in 2010. I also prefer the looks and styling of the D2 series over the D3 series because of the leather on the top. I hope Bowers & Wilkins brings this back with the D4 series, which comes out later this year. Overall, I give the 800 D2 an 8 out of 10, because I think it will be a modern classic. Next up is the quality. And as I've stated earlier, the quality of the packaging is exceptional. The quality of the accessories, like the spike set, is exceptional. The quality of the speaker binding post, the terminal, is exceptional. And also, the quality of the piano black finish is exceptional. Overall, the 800D2 receives a 9 out of 10 for the amazing build quality. Next up are the features, and this is a simple one, because the 800D2s receive a 5 out of 10. Why? It's a passive speaker design. It is B-wiring capable because of the B-wiring terminal, and you have some gimmicks, like these magnetic speaker grills. Basic 5 out of 10 for the 800 diamonds. Coming up, the side score. The 800 diamonds come in at 28 out of 40 points. And the reasons are very obvious. If you buy an 800 diamond, the speaker should last a lifetime. They are exceptionally well built. They come with a 10 year warranty. They come with all the features of a passive speaker design. And they just look gorgeous. I think they will become a modern classic and they look great in every listening or living room. A speaker can earn 40 points in the side score. Let's move over to the more important sound score, where a speaker can earn up to 50 points. And let's start with the first category under sound, which is technical specifications and audio excellence. Uh, the 800 diamonds score an 8 out of 10. 
because especially at the lower end of the spectrum there are other speakers in the price range for example the successor and even the smaller version the 802 d3s go lower the 800 diamonds can reproduce 25 hertz at minus 6 db at the upper end of the spectrum the 800 diamonds go up to 70 kilohertz which is just crazy and exceptionally great it's the diamond tweeter officially bowers and wilkins claims 33 kilohertz but there were reviews that showed the diamond tweeter can go much higher the speakers have a sensitivity of 90 db and i must say especially in comparison to the predecessor and even smaller versions, the 802D, D1, or the 802 Nautilus series, the 800 diamonds are not that difficult to drive. But the better the amplification, the better the front end, the better the sound the 800D2s will reproduce. Next up is detail. And with the 800 diamonds, you can really see and hear the heritage of Bowers and Wilkins being used in every road and as a studio monitor. The 800 diamonds will give you all the detail of the sound, especially in comparison to the predecessor, the 800D1 or the 802D1. You hear a significantly uh, larger amount of detail with the 800 diamonds. I would call it a more airy sound. It's, it's much less focused on the speaker itself and the 800D2 can reproduce the soundstage much more accurately and therefore seem much more airy and much more detailed. Therefore, the 800 diamonds overwhelm me in detail and I give them a 9 out of 10. Next up is imaging and imaging is such an important category under the sound score, especially with this review. I would like to compare the 800 diamonds with three other speakers that I have tested in this room and listened to extensively in this room. One being the Martin Logan ESL 15As, the other one being the 801 D1s and the 802 D1s. And I think overall in sound signature, the 802 Ds come close to the 800 diamonds, but in imaging, you really hear a difference. The 800 diamonds have that ability to bring focus to the sound stage to place and position voices at the right spot in the room. A capability the 802D just doesn't deliver to that extent. I wouldn't say it is washed out with the 802Ds, but in comparison it seems like that. The 801D does a great job. It is a much more focused speaker, a much more monitor-like speaker than the 802D, at least in my opinion, and it comes much closer to the diamonds. But the diamonds bring that airiness, that cleanness into the sound that the predecessor simply cannot do. If you compare the imaging capability of the 800 diamond to the ESL 15As from Martin Logan, I would say they are playing on a very similar level, on the same level. Um, the depth is similar, the width is very similar, the soundstage is huge, the ability to reproduce the frequencies and to focus the sound is very similar. However, you don't have to sit in the sweet spot with the 800 diamonds uh, as you would have to with the ESL 15As. Where the ESL 15As are stronger than the diamonds um, is in vertical uh, reproduction of the sound. It really feels like the sound stage is, is taller, is bigger with the ESL 15As. Um, there, the 800 diamonds come a little bit short. But overall, with the improvements Bowers and Wilkins has made over the predecessors, the imaging capability of the flagship model, the 800 diamonds, are great and I give them a 9 out of 10 for imaging. Next up is base performance of the 800 diamonds and I would like to put it into perspective as well. Let's compare it to the 802Ds and the Canton Reference 1DCs. It seems like the 800 diamonds cannot go as low as the 802Ds or the Canton Reference 1DCs. But that's not true. It's actually the opposite. It's just that the 800 diamonds don't create any fake lifts in the frequency uh, response at around 100 Hz, what the other two speakers do. So overall, the, the bass response is very flat and linear of the 800 diamonds uh, down to about 30 Hz. If you compare the bass 
to the Martin Logan ESL 15 A's, there's much more character in the sound, in the bass, without losing any focus with the 800 Diamonds. And I can clearly see those speakers filling up rooms of up to 100 square meters. Therefore, I give them a strong 9 out of 10 for bass. Next up is Synergy, and Synergy shows you how easily you can integrate the speaker into an entire music system. And I would say the 800 Diamonds, being the top of the line Bowers and Wilkins speaker, is pretty forgiving. You don't need to invest heavily in order to get a lot out of them, but if you do, they will shine. Therefore, a strong 9 out of 10, and also in comparison to the competition, uh, very easily integratable into all sorts of music systems. new and you can rarely find them on the used market. However, if you find them on the used market, they usually go between 10 and 12k, which I think is a great value. You get one of the most audiophile, most capable speakers on the market for 50% of the new retail price. If you get the chance to buy an 800 diamond now, do it. You will not regret it. Therefore, the speakers earn an 8 out of 10 for value. This is the review of the 800 Diamonds. The 800 Diamonds come in at 79 out of 100 points on the audio score. If you would like me to test and review your devices, please contact me on YouTube or on any other channel. And please check out audioscholars.com. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.